Hi, here we are, ready to assemble our new aquaponicals kit that you've just purchased. Fantastic, I just love this thing. Um, this, this, these are the parts that will come out of the box, as you can see right in front of you. Very simple, very straightforward, beautifully designed. The first part is our base or our sump. Now you'll notice, the first thing you'll notice is a line drawn in here which is moulded into the system to tell you how far to fill the water up when you start. Next thing is to assemble the pump. Neat, just a beautiful little pump, two parts to it. When you get that might have come out, so just make sure that pushes in. Your bit of plastic tubing just pushes onto it, no big deal. And then we find it fits better if you sit it in the corner over here, just like that, on its side actually. Now, this is a groove that's been moulded into the base. That's where your power cord comes out of. Next thing is to fit our fish tank. Here it is, you'll see that there's this plastic tube which goes, which is moulded into the fish tank that goes right up to deliver the water into the grow bed. Now we just push our plastic tubing up through the bottom of that and we just push it until it's firm. You don't have to push it too hard, just until it's firm, so it will, when you hold it like this it will not fall out, okay? Now you'll notice also in the bottom of this is moulded a little notch that matches the notch here. So when you put it together, the power cord comes out of that corner. How easy is that? Next thing is to fit up the other parts. Here's a collar. Now this collar goes on top of this outlet here that is designed to collect the water from the tank. When the auto siphon dumps and the water level tries to fill up, it will run through there and back down to the sump below. Now this is designed to stop floating fish food. Perhaps there's some fish food, uneaten fish food, or some little fish you might buy that decide they want to go for a bit of a journey down there. This will stop them from doing that. Very clever and simple design. The next thing we have to fit is the um, rubber or plastic uh, grommet, which forms a seal between the top of this and the bottom of your, of your um, grow bed. Now we just put a bit of water on it, which helps to make it stay in there until we get it fitted up. You see where we've put it? Now you just turn it upside down gently, make sure that doesn't fall out and just fit it down there so that it contacts and fits beautifully. Look at that. Next thing to fit is the shroud. This is the shroud and this you'll see four grooves inside the, the bed here. And it just fits neatly into those like that. And here is the cap that goes into the top of that, just fits neatly in. How simple is that? Now we're almost done. The only thing left to do is provided with the kit are the clay pebbles. Now we've got two bags of that, which is just a little bit more than you actually need, but that's good, you've got a bit spare. It uh, might pay to give it a wash before you put it in, but that's okay. And then you can see here in our finished system, we've already got the clay pebbles running in here, the auto siphon's working, we've already got some mint and some various kind of uh, things you might want to grow in your kitchen. Isn't it fantastic? Can't you just see this sitting on your kitchen bench already? Fantastic, I love it. There it is, that's your aquaponicals kit assembled in less than five minutes. Not a problem. Fantastic.